Hey, Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go. We have another quick look video. This time we're looking at the Takayuki Kurokage VG10 Hammered Gyuto. That's a mouthful, 210 millimeter size. I had to spill that over to the next sheet. So, uh, very interesting knife. So this is made of a VG10, uh, full stainless steel. Heat treat is about 60 Rockwell on that core steel. And it's clad. It's hard to tell because of the coating that's on here. This uh, uh, black coating that they have on there, it's uh, Teflon coated. Uh, but it is clad, so it's got three layers, stainless cladding, soft stainless cladding over the hard core steel, so three layers. Uh, the weight and dimensions can vary just a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is uh, 149 grams or 5.3 ounces. And then the edge length is about 215. So it's a little oversized for 210, so about 8.45 inches on the edge from the tip all the way to the back of the heel. Overall length, it depends on the handle. This handle is about 364 millimeters or 14.3 inches overall. And this is a fairly thin blade. So I measured about 2.1 millimeters thick at the spine in the back and then about 2-ish, uh, 2.05, 2.1. It kind of, it varies a little. It's hammered, so it's a little hard to grab consistent uh, thicknesses because there's all these hammering marks right up to the spine. This doesn't really have much taper to it, so it doesn't get thinner as you go until you hit the grind. And you can see it is hammered. I get my reflections here. So it's got a hammer to finish, but then where the grind starts, you can see right there. So that's where it starts to thin out as it's ground towards the tip. The tip's fairly thin, it's not super thin, but it's it's a little kind of in between. And then here's what the back side looks like, the choil. So again, not super skinny, got a little meat behind the edge there as well. What does give you a little more durability though. It's all, always about trade-offs. Blade height's about 46 millimeters, so kind of sweet spot for this style of blade, so plenty of room for your fingers on the cutting board. Uh, balance point, as long as we're at it, is right about there with this handle, which is pretty close to a pinch grip for me, maybe a little bit behind it. So a touch handle heavy, this is a fairly big handle. Um, the handle is octagonal, made out of wenge and buffalo horn. Uh, so that's a really nice touch, the buffalo horn on there. And this is a really cool looking wood. Uh, here's your octagonal look, so it's a bit more on the squarish side. And uh, feel, it's appropriate, I'd say it's about 75 millimeters in circumference right here. And then we do have a little gap here where the tang goes into the handle. That's uh, uh, a style choice. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That's kind of a nod to older school installs, so absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. It's a choice, a stylized choice. And you can see it's pretty comfortable to pop a pinch on there because it's basically the same width as the handle right here. So you just slide up and then go. In fact, it doesn't really matter how big your fingers are. Um, it just, it's a nice spot there for your pinch grip. So this works great on a pinch grip. Let's get our beauty shot here. So again, this has like a Teflon black coating on it. And uh, I don't know how durable it is. I guess you can check the... Chef nice to go for them and ask questions about it or see some of the reviews on the product page. So on the right side of the blade, as you'd be holding it using it, you've got some screened in kanji and then made in Japan on there. And then you can see your hammering. Again, this is a very dark finish, but you can see the hammer marks. And then it starts grind, getting ground down towards the edge so it smooths out. Here's the left side of the blade. Fit and finish, they've done a nice job. You got a little bit of relief on the spine up here and then the choil into the neck, so it's comfortable out of the box. So I'd say the fit and finish is very nicely done. It is fairly stiff. It's actually quite stiff, so it'll have that characteristic on the cutting board. Um, edge, I'll give it maybe 5 out of 10, maybe 6. It's, qu it's pretty sharp, but you can kind of tell the edge is low grit. It's not a real high polish to it. Let's look at the cutting board profile. Here we go. So you can see this one is fairly curvy. Not a lot of flat spot to it. It rolls on down into the heel, rolls in towards the heel. So not a ton of flat. The, the heel's a little bit less belly, but uh, yeah, not a big flat spot on this guy. 
Uh, let's see what we do on the cutting board here tip wise. I'm getting right in there and then the tip wants to start digging in. I think you could probably upsweep the tip on the last millimeter or two if you sharpen this to kind of give you a little more uh, you know edge or I should say a little more height here if you want to do that with rocking but this is kind of about where you're at with the rocking on it. So very interesting looking knife really cool looking it's got the hammered finish on it uh, a lot of cool stuff going on all stainless easy to care for a cool really cool handle that wood is really neat looking so this is the takayuki kurokage vg10 hammered guto 210 millimeter